I'm Andrew Phillips. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to test wire to see if there's breaks in the wire or also what's known as intermittent errors or faults. And basically what that is is if the wire has a break inside the insulation and you won't be able to see that because it has this rubber coating, it's hard to find out where the problem is if you're dealing with an issue. And by testing it, we can find that. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to complete this, the only thing that you'll need is a multimeter. You can pick these up anywhere. They're very inexpensive. You can get them at your regular like Walmart type stores. You can get them at automotive stores. You can get them at electronic stores, online, hardware stores, everywhere. They're very easy to come by, Harbor Freight, all that. And all you'll need is a multimeter that you can then set to ohms, and then we'll be able to test the wire and diagnose the problem. Now the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it on, we're gonna put it down to 200 ohms, which is our lowest ohms right here. We'll bring that around. So we have it pointed down to 200 ohms. Your screen should have I on there for infinity. We put it on one end and now connect the other end with the positive. And you can see that there, you're getting an ohm reading there because the, there is no break in the wire, which is what you want. You don't want to see this, the infinity. So if we take this wire here, and I have one here that I, I put a break in it, so if we connect the positive on one end, connect the negative on the other end, and on this one, because there's a break, it's showing the infinity. So that would tell you right away that this wire has a break in it, and at that point you want to get that wire fixed or replaced. And it's very easy. So all you really need to do is just find the two ends of the wire, and then you can test that connection in between. If you're dealing with a harness, you're going to put it on one end of the harness, down at the other end of the harness or where the wire is meeting at the other end and you can test that that wire in between the harnesses now this is extremely effective if you're dealing with wires in your car or electronic devices i do a lot of repair on casino games arcade games things like that also cars and you have some of these harnesses that have a lot of wires going on sometimes you'll have a break in there and it's hard to pinpoint the one and that's where this is good so let's take a look at some harnesses and i'll show you what we're talking about when you're dealing with a harness like this, you have all these different wire connections. Sometimes you can get a break in there. This particular game here is a claw machine. If you want to see the video I did where I showed how to fix it, you can check that out via the link above. I'll also have it down in the description. But a harness like this, one of these wires can be bad, and you're going to need to test it. So in those cases there, you can connect to the end where the wire is here. And then if we come to the other side, where you're looking on this end here, then you would take the other connection to the multimeter and you would then just connect it right where the wire goes into the component or whatever and then you'll be able to get the reading that way. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this harness and show you what I'm talking about. So if we pull this off, you can see the metal points right there where it connects into the harness. We're going to go ahead and take this and find the wire that we need to test and we'll place it on that little metal piece but you want to make sure you don't touch the surrounding now we'll take the other one and we'll match that colored wire from the harness where it's coming in here to this motor and you want to make sure that you touch it exactly where the wire is coming out of the insulation and then now let's go ahead and get a reading on the ohms on that and we can see here it's looking good the ohms reading is good so there's no break in this wire Looking here at this car, for example, here's a harness right here. You have all these wires. If you look where the wire goes into the connector, and I'll get a close-up here to show you, but you can take the, the actual point on the multimeter wire and touch right there to get your reading, and then do the same on the other end. But let me get a close-up so you can see what I'm talking about. This end right here. So you could get the connection right there on that metal connector, and then just line it up with which wire you're testing. And then if you trace it down to the other end of the harness, then you would then put it on that end. You could test then the ohms to see if that wire is bad. So in a case like here, you have six of them. So you would just go down the line and do each one and then get your readings. And this end of a connection would be the same thing. You would just touch it on that metal lead right there and then trace that wire as well all the way back to the other end to, to test the actual wire in between those harnesses. 
Well, that wraps up this video on how to test the wire for breaks or intermittent errors or faults in there. I hope that this video was informative for you. I hope it helps you out with any issues you're running into on projects that, you're, that you've got going on. If you have any questions or comments, please send them in. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.